I come home in the morning light. My mother says, when you're going to live your life right? Oh, mama dear, we're not the fortunate ones. And girls, they want to have fun. The earliest memory I have is Bowl this one underarm tangles, that'll fool him from the ads that he did with uh, two his 2.2 with Doug Walters. I remember that and then of course the, the 12th man from there, but he was just an Aussie larrikin. He just took the piss out of himself. Bowl this one underarm tangles, that'll fool him. So for me, it's thinking about Billy Birmingham, the 12th man and him taking off the entire wide world of sports commentary team and the fact that so many members of that team um, have now left us. Tony Gregg, Richie Benno, Mike Gibson, and, uh, and now Max Walker tangles. Uh, that's a fair group that's uh, gathering somewhere upstairs and uh, sharing some wonderful memories. He'll be missed. I remember being a boy and couldn't wait to get home to watch the, um, you know, the one, the day nighters and and alike. And then Max Walker became a commentator, and I got to say he would be, I reckon he would be a really good guy to have a beer with. He, he seemed like always came across as a really decent fella. He's just one of those guys that you sit there and you go, wow, what a career this guy's had. And uh, multi-talented as well. He uh, good at Aussie rules, a great cricketer. Uh, and even in his personal life, he was an architect as well. So I've never seen a bowler beat the bat as many times as Max Walker. He would consistently come in, bowl these outswingers, and they it just they were unplayable. I think it was a little bit unfortunate for Max that he played in an era that was so dominated for Australia with um, Dennis Lilly and uh, Jeff Thompson, the sort of fury of those two. But Max used to come on and take his wickets with just amazing swing. I remember going out to the SCG with my dad and watching uh, that entire team, just a brilliant Australian team, and Max was a big part of that.